How's it going? Friday, November the 8th, 2024. George Sisler, Hall of Fame. 340 career batting average. He's come off some really excellent years up to this point. Started his career in 1915. Had a couple, had, had a 285 his first year. Then he, then he started hitting over 300. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seasons in a row over 300, and two of the seasons over 400. At a remarkable stretch from 1920 to 1922. In those three years, he had 719 hits, an average 400. He had a 407, a 371 and a 420 in those three years. And he got 257 hits, 216 hits, and 246 hits in three years. That's 719. Then in 1923, he had some problems with his eyes. I think he had some surgery done on his eyes. Could not play the entire year. He missed it. And he's in his prime. He would have been 30 years old in 1923. So in 1924, he comes back, plays 151 games, gets 194 hits. That's 305. But that's down from the three, from the 420 he had in 1922. So this video right now that I'm covering, I've covered all the other years before this. This video, 1925 season, how did he do? 150 games, good. 649 at bats, 100 runs scored. That becomes one, two, three, his fourth season over 100 runs scored. 224 hits. You play this guy every game in the year, he's, he's automatic 200 hits. 224. Very good. In fact, he's one of the few players that have multiple 220 plus seasons. Of course, he's one player that has 250 or more. He's one out of two. No, no, there's about three or four guys who have got 250 or more. How about this? He's, he's one out of two players that has more than 255 hits in a season. He has a 257. Ishiro Suzuki has a 262. There are other guys who have had in 250. Hornsby had 250. Al Simmons, Bill Terry all passed 250 hits in a season. So as far as 220 or more, how many players have multiple 220 or more? Well, this is the third time for George Sisler. He had a two- 46 also, 257, 246, and now he gets 224. This is interesting. That's a trivia question. Who has more than three 220 plus hits in a season? Who do you think it is? Well, I can think of guys who have had multiple 200-hit seasons. How about Tyrus Cobb? Does he have more than 220? Does he have more than three? Let's look it up. Ty Cobb. He had a 238. That's one. No, no I'm sorry. He had a 248. That's one over 220. He had a 226, that's two. He had a 225, that's three. So I'm looking at his numbers. Three seasons, 220 or more. George Sussler, three seasons, 220 or more. Now, who else has had a lot of multiple, multiple hit seasons? Multiple 200 hit seasons. I know Pete Rose had 10 of them, right? Let's look at Pete Rose. 
he had a 230 one year. And that's all he had as far as more than 220. So he doesn't do it. How about Ishiro Suzuki? I know he had like 10 200 hit seasons, right? He had a 262. He had a 224. He had a 242. That's three. He had a 225. That's four. One, two, three, four. Oops. Five. I didn't know it. Here's the trivia question. Which player has the most 220 plus hits in a season? The answer, Ishiro Suzuki. He had a 242, a 262, a 224, a 238, and a 225. Five seasons over 220 hits. That guy can, that guy was a 200 hit machine. Is there anybody else who would have more than five? I doubt it. I know Derek Jeter had some 200 hit seasons. Derek Jeter. Let's see. Uh, I never got over 220. I know Lou Gehrig had some. Let's look at Lou. Lou Gehrig. He had some 200 hit seasons. Uh, he had one 220. Anybody else you can think of? 200 hit seasons. Al Simmons? Let's look at Al Simmons. Did he have multiple? Let's see. Yeah, he had a lot. Of, he had a 253. No. Nope. So the trivia... Question, most 220 plus hit seasons, Isho Suzuki, five. Uh, George Slisler, three. And Ty Cobb, three, right? Pete Rose didn't do it. Jeter didn't do it, even though they had multiple 200 hit seasons. Know who else had a lot of two hundred hit seasons? Cobb, right? Yeah, two twenty five, two twenty six, and two forty eight. He had three. So that's an interesting. Don't you think that's interesting trivia there? Okay, let's go back to the nineteen twenty five season for George Susser. 21 doubles, fifteen triples, twelve homers, one hundred five RBIs. That's good. Why? I like it when you get over 100 RBIs. That becomes one, two, three. His fourth season over 100 RBIs. 11 stolen bases, 27 walks. Bats 345. Excellent. Sussler has one, two, three, four seasons over 350. And this becomes the one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. His ninth season in a row over 300. 371 on base, 479 slugging, 311 total bases. That becomes his fourth season, 300 or more total bases. Did you know he had a hitting streak that year of 33 games in a row? 77. Multi-hit games. That's up there. I told you there are some other guys that had more. Cobb had an 80, I think. And Chris Speaker had a 78. Multi-hit season. 77 for George Susser. 56 two-hit games. 13 three-hit games. Three four-hit games. One five-hit game. 18 games, two runs scored. Two games, three runs scored. He had one game, four runs scored. 18 two RBI games, four three RBI games, one four RBI game. And listen to this. George Slusser had a seven RBI game that year, 1925. Seven RBIs in a game. 
Why am I covering George Sisler on this YouTube channel? Because he's one of the greatest hitters of all time. And where does he rank among the best? Is he in the top five as far as hitting? Not greatest player of all time. That's a different category. Because you have to look at multiple categories, not just hitting. You got to look at uh, everything. You know, on base, slugging, total bases. You got to look at average, walks, RBIs, batting average, doubles, triples, homers, runs scored, games played, fewer strikeouts. If you if you look at all those categories, you can come up with the greatest players of all time list. But as far as distinguishing the greatest hitters of all time, just pure hitting, indicating hits and batting average and career hits. Where does George Sussler rank? How many 300 batting seasons? How many 400 batting seasons? How many hits in a season? And how many hits did you get in a career in the, in the uh, ratio of games played and hits produced? Well, I can tell you right now that as far as the greatest hitters category rankings, you got Cobb number one, no dispute. 12 batting titles, 366 career batting average, 4189 career hits, and three 400 batting seasons. You got to put Roger Hornsby, 2,900 hits, but he had four 300, no, four. 400 batting seasons. Cobb had four, three. Excuse me. Hornsby had three 400 batting seasons. So did Cobb, and so did Ed Delante. Hornsby, 358. So you, career batting average. So you got to put rank him number two all time as far as hitting. Number three, I'm debating between Ed Delante's 346 and Tris Speaker's 345. Speaker got more career hits, 3,500, but Delante has those three 400 batting seasons, whereas uh, Tris Speaker, did he bat 400 in one season? I think his highest was 386. Let me just, uh, since I'm on Tris Speaker, as far as where to rank him, did he have a 400 batting season? No, his highest was 388. But did you know that he had like three seasons over 380 batting average? So Tris Speaker and him and Delante can fight it out. Delante had the 2,500 hits. Speaker had the 3,500 I don't know where how to rank those two guys. Then you got a guy named Tony Gwynn. I had him at 338 career batting average. What was unique about him is he had 19 seasons out of 20 over 300. The other players can't can't claim that. So you got to put Gwynn in there. So you got Cobb, Hornsby, Speaker, Gwynn, and then you also you have Stan Musials in there too, and Ted Williams is in there as far as hitting. And then you got this George Sussler guy. Two seasons over 400. 2,800 hits in 15 years. The ratio he was going at. Plus he has those uh, three 220 plus hit seasons. So where do you rank George Sussler? Talking about hitting only. All right, that covers 1925 season for George Sussler. What a player. Next, next video, 1926. We're going to keep going until his